Hello children, welcome back to story time with Miss Nidhi. Today from my story bag, I have got a wonderful story to share with you all. But before I start the story, I want you all to make a guess. Guess about the animal of whom the story is all about. So I'm going to give you a clue. This animal has a very long nose, big flappy ears. This animal is very fat and heavy. So I'm going to count up to three, and you all have to make a right guess and share with Miss Nidhi. All right? I am starting the count. Tick tick one, tick tick two, and tick tick three. So I hear some children giving me the answer. Oh, I hear some more children giving me the answer. Oh, my dear children, you all are absolutely correct. So today's story is about elephant, and the title of today's story is Curious Baby Elephant. and the author of the story is judith baker this book has been published by pratham books are you all ready to listen to the story oh get on to your seats tighten the buckle and we are all going to listen to this wonderful story about curious baby elephant let's get started everyone knows that the elephant has a very long nose very very long but a long time ago the elephant's nose was short and fat like a shoe in the middle of its face can you all imagine like a shoe in the middle of its face one day a baby elephant was born just like all of you she was very curious about everything like all children are she had a question for every animal she was curious about giraffe why do you have a long neck she asked she was even curious about a rhinoceros why does your horn have a sharp point she was curious about hippo why do you have red eyes she asked and she was very curious about a crocodile what does crocodile eat for dinner she asked never ask a question like that said her mother and then she walked off frowning quickly a crow flew down to baby elephant and you know what the crow told baby elephant cow 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 follow me to the river there you will see what crocodile eats for dinner like that the crow squawked and guess what the baby elephant did she followed the crow down to the river thumb 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 she pushed through the reeds and stood on the bank she looked into the water where was crocodile she thought to herself hello said a stone near the river bank hello said baby elephant can you tell me what crocodile eats for dinner she asked bend down and i will tell you said the stone lower lower said the stone so baby elephant bent down lower and lower then suddenly snap baby elephant's nose was caught in crocodile's jaws oh my god crocodile will eat your for dinner squawk pro and flew away baby elephant sat back on her strong legs and pulled she pulled and pulled but crocodile did not let go of her nose baby elephant's nose stretched and stretched and stretched then thud she fell on her back crocodile sank back into the water he was cross about losing his dinner baby elephant looked at her nose it was stretched very long she could not see where it ended her nose was so long she could pick fruit from high branches her nose was so long that she could shower her back with water from that day all elephants had long and useful trunks i 
hope you all enjoyed listening to this wonderful story about curious baby elephant so children do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell button to get notification for all the new uploads so stay tuned and wait till miss nidhi brings you another story thank you so much for being here and listening to our stories